welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. I am joined, as always, by a very small guy brush throughput. I have done a little bit of working around and I have fixed a couple things. First off, we can look at the dainty lady. Since we last left off, we are on Lucre Island. We made it here because we need to talk to the wife's lawyers. Let's look at our ship. Rats. It's still pink. There are indeed subtitles to this. It's kind of hard to find them. Couldn't find them the first time around, but I have found them now. Let's, uh, oh, let's do that. Ahoy there, Mr. Cheese. Yes. Good work. Good work getting us into the harbor. Thanks. Next time be helpful if you didn't use the ship's maps as coasters. Where else am I supposed to put my coffee? I need that in the morning. Where can I find Otis? That useless deck swab beats me. After you left, he ran off. Probably looking for new ways to be lazy. There are so many ways, though. How's the ship? When will she be ready for departure? Just as soon as I repair the rudder, the mast, and the deck. What's what's going on with all this stuff? What's wrong with the rudder? Just took a little beating on the way past that breakwater. Nothing I can't fix. It's not a very good breakwater if it hits the rudder. Was it low tide or something? What about the mast? What's wrong with the mast? Well, it got a bit jolted when me careened off the rocky outcropping. Nothing I can't fix. Nothing he can't fix. What about the deck? What's wrong with the deck? Well, somebody scratched, help me mommy into it. Deep scratches, but nothing I can't fix. I assume that was Otis. Well, I'll leave it to you. Gee, thanks. You're welcome. Well, uh, okay then. Keep the ship, uh, ship shape while I'm gone. I get it. Okay, we are ready to get out of here. I did fix the controls as well, so that it's actually related to the camera instead of the character. I did have an option for that, and I am very thankful for it. We are now ready to go past all of this stuff. There is nothing that we really can do until we go talk to the lawyer, so we might as well take care of that almost immediately. Let's just kind of get a layout of what is going on around here in Lukertown. Uh, what is this over here? Is this the... I, I can't quite make it out. That is the bank! Indeed. I thought it might be. Here is the law office, though. That is where we need to go. Of course, the law office would be right next to the bank and bigger than anything else here. Um, excuse me. Is this... Come in. Come in. Come in. What can we do for you? I was told you guys could help me. Of course we can. What is it? Wrongful dismemberment? Hit and run dinghy accident? Hurt your back while pillaging another ship? Uh, no. I need you to see if you can save my house from being destroyed. That doesn't sound very prestigious. Lucrative. Did I mention that my house is the governor's mansion on Melee Island? It governor's mansion, you say? Well, that changes things. Of course it does. Nice use of the TM. Yes. But you can't be the governor. I'm here representing the Honorable Elaine Marley Threepwood, governor of the Tri-Island area. She's my wife. Oh, I get it. He's joking about the wife thing. Wait, joking? And people think lawyers have no sense of humor. You know, it's illegal to make such wrongful and preposterous claims. Since when? Should we sue him? How much money do you think he has? I'm serious. We just got back from our honeymoon. Three glorious months on the high seas. Three and months? And returned to find the mansion under siege by a dastardly demolitionist. Is this alleged demolitionist wealthy? Hmm, yes, we could sue them. Put a lien on their catapult. File a writ of habeas money at... Wouldn't you rather go after the big bucks? If Elaine wins the election, she'll be a powerful person. And if the mansion is saved, she'll have someone to thank. And if that someone is you... We would be given a lot of money? Er... Uh, not given. Think outside the juror's box, my esteemed colleagues. We could become the official lawyers for the Tri-Island area. Yes, the preferred legal team of the governor's office. What do you need from us, young fellow? I don't know. You handled Grandpa Marley's estate, right? Right. 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 Did he have a plan for such a crisis? Nope. 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 Damn it. But we'll get right on it. Right. 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 Okay, I'll wait. Actually, this may take a while. Legal issues can be quite complicated. You guys got it. take a lot of research. Isn't there something else you could do for a while? Probably. See the island. Take in the sight. Um, I guess so. Oh, hey. You might as well take this. What is it? It's a letter from Grandpa Marley. It was supposed to be delivered after his granddaughter got married. Was she informed of this? Because this is the first I've heard of anything. 
This will save us a trip. Now be gone. We have work to do. How come my wife didn't announce that we were getting married? Now let's look at the letter. Hmm, let's see what it says. <clears throat> my dearest Elaine, if you are reading this, then you are married and I am dead. That is now true. that you finally settled down with a fearless pirate husband, also it's true. time for you to claim the final pieces of your family's heritage. At the Lucre Island Municipal Bank, you'll find a safe deposit chest under my name. Nice. Among other things, the chest contains the deed to the Marley Mansion. Never lose sight of this deed. Furthermore, the chest also contains my wedding gifts to you. I'm sorry that I was unable to deliver them in person, but I go to my grave confident that you've chosen a man I would be proud to call grandson. Aww. Lastly, and most importantly, the chest contains the keys to the most terrifying secret in the Caribbean. What? A secret ten times as terrifying as Big Whoop? The secret of Monkey the Island? ultimate insult. What? Yikes. If the unholy power of the ultimate insult ever found its way into the wrong hands, there's no telling what sorts of hex spawn mischief could be unleashed upon our fun-loving pirate citizens. Guard these secrets with your life, and know that no matter where you are, your grandfather is watching over you. With all my love, Horatio Tokamata Marley. How sweet. Uh, P.S. If your deadbeat parents come around looking for a handout, tell them to take a long walk off a short gangplank. Apparently the in-laws are not uh, necessarily getting along. Now let's put the letter away. Just object every chance you get. That is a good lawyer tactic. Always object. Uh, so the ultimate the insult is apparently in the bank in a safety deposit box. Are we going with any guesses here? I don't know. I got a few myself. Everyone who ever loved you was wrong. Uh, you know, everybody just puts up with you. I, I, that's, that's really all I got. I have had zero occasion to use it, but those and are the best just I got. Why not, young lady? Bank policy, sir. I can't convert these travelers' checks because we've never heard of uh, what's his name? Australia. But you've honored them countless times before. Australia. We've had a bad run of counterfeit money come through here lately, so we've had to tighten our policy. And if you ask me, these don't look real. <laughs> Besides the funny name, there's a picture of a strange animal on here that has another one popping out of its belly. That's weird. That's a kangaroo, you ignorant pirate trollop. What's a kangaroo? See? There you go. Kangaroo. Another funny name. Funny to say, too. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. <laughs> oh, stripped. He I've got happy. business to attend to, but I'll come back, and when I do, I want these honored. Have a nice day, Mr. Mandrill. You should switch to decaf. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Have you never seen Winnie the Pooh? Kangaroo. Let's talk to uh, the bank teller here, if they they will let me. They're not really letting me. Maybe these controls aren't as good as I thought they were. Let's talk to the bank teller. Hi there. Welcome to the second bank of Lucre. I'm Brittany. How may I help you? What happened to the first bank? What happened to the first bank of Lucre? Nothing. It was our public relations department's idea. They felt that being called the first bank didn't project an image of experience. I have actually heard that before. There's actually a name of a bank out there. I swear to God, it's Fifth Third Bank. I have no idea where they got that name. Uh, I'd like to retrieve some items from my safe deposit box. Wait, no free toasters? There's no free toasters? What kind of crap is this? I'd like to retrieve some items from my safe deposit box. Fine, sir. And whose name is it under? Marley. H.T. Marley. Here's a letter that might help. I see. This is for Governor Marley. Do you have power of attorney to act on her behalf? I think so. I'm her dashing husband. <laughs> Not good enough. What? Oh. Well, there is this. That's right, I have the seal. Oh my, that will be fine, sir. Just a moment, Mr. Quidworth. There's a gentleman here to use the vault. I don't trust this guy. Hmm, yes? Hmm? Well, everything seems to be in order, Mr. Marley. That's Mr. Threepwood. As you wish, sir. Stop calling me Marley. Oh, can I just go? I was about to if say. If you just follow me into the vault, we can open up your grandfather-in-law's safe deposit chest. What the hell's going on with the text here? Oh my. Mm. Ah. Well, 
Here it is, sir. The safe deposit chest of H.T. Marley, just as he left it over 20 years ago. Wow, what an amazing collection of junk. Why would Grandpa Marley store garbage like this in a bank? That Governor Marley was an eccentric old salt, wasn't he? <laughs> you know, we were all crushed when he disappeared off the face of the earth like he did. Anyway, well, I've got some loans to turn down. You just let me know when you're done here, and I'll come running. Gee, thanks. Well, I guess I better start looking for that deed to the governor's mansion so I can get home to Elaine. Let's see now. Hot water bottle. Monkey what pacifier. Oh, oh, Wait, what? Oh, In order to get out of here, as the guy is apparently trying to rob the rest of the place, uh, we need to actually pick up everything here. Are they not going... Being particular with this is, is difficult. All right, we need to pick up the old sword. The lawyers have negotiated a settlement. Now drop everything and come out. My lawyers are fired. We need to pick up the sea sponge. Ah, that's also a quick way to put that away. Pick up and also puts it away. All right, pick up this sea sponge. We need all the sea sponges that we can get. Everybody freeze! This is a robbery! Pick up the handkerchief. <laughs> this thing reeks. Put that away. There's another sea sponge here. Pick that up, put it away. And I should look in here as well. I say don't move! What the hell happened there? Look uh, in I here. I don't think so. We That's don't... G U I B I U S H. Uh, T H R E E P W O O D. Don't believe his lies. There seems to be something inside. It's a music box. All right, let's pick that up as well. It's a cute little music box. Yes, I, I gathered that. Hey, there's a bottle of fine grog behind this music box. Nice. Put that away. Pick up the grog. Is there anything behind there? I think that is all that we need to do. Okay. I think we have grabbed everything That's that we need. That's G-U-Y-B-I-U-S-H-T-H-I-E-E-P-W-O-O-D. Right, whatever you say. We need to use the old sword on the bottom hinge here. I broke the hinge off, but I broke the sword too. Oh, Nobody no. Move. Move. I think, the though, that we should be fine. Nobody move. And use it with the crack. The sword seems to be widening the crack a bit. Now this is where things get a little tricky. We need to kind of, uh... Oh, they're, they, they are going to let me go into the inventory. We need to actually put all the sponges in here. With... The, uh, no, there we go. You'll never get me, God rush three point, coppers! We need to put it in the crack. We need to put all of them in the crack. Turning a triopunk! That is such a strange sound. And we can put the small one in as well. Down on the floor! Now we need to pour the grog. It's fine, grog but we have to pour it onto the sponges. Oh, Lord, suckers! And remember, you've just been robbed by Guybrush Freakwood! <laughs> hey, where'd he go? Hey, what's all the commotion? Get him! him. Ah. You're under arrest, Mr. Threepwood. Right, down to the jailhouse with you. What? I've been arrested for something that I kind of committed. Oh, you. Didn't your mum ever explain that bank robbery isn't nice? I don't think it she touched me, that one. It wasn't me, it was the no-nose bandit. Right, no-nose bandit. Or perhaps it was the guy we caught red-handed. You! Although we haven't found the loot yet. You'll find it with the real robber. So let me go and get cracking. Detective work isn't my job. If you want to clear your name, you've got a few things to do. Okay, what? I need the perpetrator, I need proof he was at the scene of the crime, and I need proof that he committed the crime. You know, it'd be a lot easier if I could just bribe you. I'll ignore that, Threepwood. Around here, we do things by the book. Now, Crazy. Since this is your first offense, you'll be placed under house arrest. I get to go back to the mansion and play with Timmy? No. You are confined to Luca Island. 
You are not permitted to leave until and unless you are cleared of the crime of bank robbery. To make sure you don't leave, you are required to wear the voodoo anklet of extreme discomfort. I was wondering about that. It's rather uncomfortable. And can you loosen it? Well, that wouldn't be the point then, would it? It gets a lot more uncomfortable if you try to leave the island. <sighs> At least I'm not in jail. That is very strange. Can I talk to you a little bit more? Inspector? Yes? I'm innocent. It was the no-nose pirate that robbed the bank. Who? Peg nose Pete. Listen, if I had a monkey for every time some penny ante crook tried to pin their criminal malfeasance on Peg nose Pete, I'd have enough monkeys to work out a reasonable sequel to Hamlet by now. They made so that it was terrible. So what you're saying is that you don't believe me? No. Damn it. Just for the sake of argument, what would it take to prove my innocence? Well, since you don't have an alibi, you'd have to turn the finger of blame towards the real culprit. Great! Uh, how do I do that? Off the top of my head, I can think of three things that would do the job. A. New evidence would have to surface linking the so-called real perpetrator to the crime. Two. The stolen bank loot would have to be recovered. And Z. The real criminal would have to be caught and brought to justice. Zed. That should be a piece of cake for a pirate with a keen analytical mind like myself. Crap. I'll keep your cell warm. Yeah, that's not going to work out so well. How's the investigation going? What investigation? You were caught red-handed. I'm just waiting for the judge. Oh. Damn it. But how do I go about proving my innocence again? <sighs> Catch the real perpetrator, recover the loot, and come up with evidence to back your story up. Oh, so yeah. Sounds... Fair enough. Where's this guy? Where's Pete? Where can I find Pegnose Pete? If I knew that, he'd be locked up right now. Because he framed me for robbing the bank? No, because he's wanted for approximately 300 other crimes on Luca Island. But you don't believe that he did this one? Well, I better get out there and prove my innocence. Stay out of trouble. Right, of course. Uh, we need to head over here. Oh, that looks very uncomfortable. Uh, we need to pick up the tin of chicken grease. Ew, greasy. I guess they use it on these Iron Maiden spikes to allow smooth impaling. Yeah, the Iron Maiden is, like, Victorian, if I remember correctly. That is so gross, though. We'll, we'll just go ahead and put that away. What is this over here? Nothing. I, I can just look at the Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden! Excellent! Uh, I have no idea why I said that. I wonder why you said that. Now, if there was a torture device called Rush as well. Is there nothing over here but the picture? I swear there was more in here. All right, what's the sign say? Damn it. The sign. The sign. Thank you. It says, Contra Legis Marinas Latrocinium Maris Est. I think that means, actually, I have no idea what it means. Yeah, I'm not particularly good at Latin either. What's over here? Otis. Otis, what are you doing here? I'm a victim of society. Let me guess. You were framed, right? How did you know? Eh, just a hunch. Some old guy with a weird accent accused me of stealing flowers from his front yard. What is it with you and flowers? It's a plot, I tell you! People are to make me seem less fearsome and piratey by accusing me of being the kind of pirate who likes to pick flowers. If it's any comfort, Otis, I never found you all that fearsome to begin with. Ah, uh, go pick a pack of posies. When are you due to be released? Get out of here. You'll be released just about the same time you prove your... <laughs> innocence. Hey, just because my captain is a notorious bank robber, there's no reason to take it out on me. Oh, this? Jay, you're not helping. He never really helps. I'm feeling an incredible feeling of deja vu. Would it help if I gave you a breath mint? Wait, it's passed. Probably no breath mint this time. See you later, Otis. See you later, Otis. You're gonna get me out of here, right? I forgot that we actually got a breath mint from him in the first game. 